Okay, I figured I'd do an update on my homemade studded tires. New version and old version. Both sets of tires got the same maintenance. A nice healthy coating of fix-a-flat. Even though the old set was actually still holding air, but the new set had four studs removed, which is not a good idea and the only reason why I did it I was in a pinch when I was doing my solar install on the shed. So I had to do it, unfortunately, and these ones were the easiest ones to take them out of. Bit of a story on these tires. They actually have a famous previous owner, former Boston Bruins forward Stan Johnson, previously owned these tires. If you remember many years ago, about at least three and a half well, actually over that at least four years ago i got two free tractors both of them were craftsmen's uh, the ones that this came off of was a basket case really just a parts machine but i was able to save the rear tires and um that's where the machines actually came from both machines are well gone well gone now the red craftsman was parted out the other craftsman i believe it was red as well did end up getting resold but uh these tires I kept off the red smaller machine, which was an LT something. And uh, that's actually who these tires originally came from. So these ones here are the new design. I'll put both tires side by side to show you the difference between them. But we did do a little bit different on the actual stud design. Since these ones are actually wider, these are 10 inch wide tires and the old ones are eight inch wide tires. So these ones here, a little bit narrower nowhere near as much uh surface travel on these ones even the 10 inch tires actually look wider than 10 inches than these ones here but uh, these ones here when i used them I, mean, I only used them in uh where we used to live in the city and they did amazing uh, i never got stuck with these tires which was nice uh, they spun every once in a while until you'd get uh, a grip and you'd go but they did amazingly these ones were actually on the back of the former Craftsman truck that I built. So these are the ones I use on that in the wintertime. So a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. You can kind of see the difference. The new ones actually have more studs per uh, surface area than the old ones. The old ones have the edge, edge studs, which the new ones have as well. But then they have this diamond pattern that continues throughout. The uh, new ones, on the other hand, have a similar diamond pattern, but they come a little bit closer to the ones on the edge. As you can see on both sides, this would be the diamond pattern kind of right here. And that continues all the way around the entire tire. To be honest, both sets were pretty well holding air. The one that I pulled uh, four studs out of was leaking, but the other one was holding air. The old ones were holding air as well, but it was definitely time to do some maintenance on these tires just so I can get more life out of them. I definitely don't want a flat. I do have wheel weights that will fit these new ones. So if I have to end up using wheel weights, I will. I'm hoping I don't have to. To be honest, I'm hoping I don't even have to use studded tires at all. I'm really not looking forward to winter. So anyways, that's a quick update on these tires. I'd have to look back in my videos to see when we originally did put these together. These are actually uh, variations three and, uh, sorry, two and three. Two being these ones and three obviously being these ones. The original set we put together were trash. Um, I, I used completely the wrong tires. They uh, had issues from the very beginning. So we completely de-studded them, reused all the studs and put them on to this set right here, which like I said, worked very well. So the nice thing about studs compared to chains, the, the chains will dig in better, but the studs don't cause nearly as much body damage uh, because they don't come up and hit the bodywork of the machine. So studded tires, I do believe are better in some situations. In some situations, chains will definitely work better, but I'm going to try out the studded tires. If the studded tires don't work, I will unfortunately have to go to chains. But I'm just hoping these ones will work. And I should be good for the winter. If we even have a winter. Which I'm kind of hoping we don't. 
So anyways, there we go. Quick update on the tires. If I remember, I will post in the description on when these ones were originally made and when these ones right here were made. These ones are at least four years old. Um, so I had them at the old house and that's when I had those two machines was at the old house as well. So, and these ones here, actually the tractor these ones originally came off of was my very, very, very first racing tractor idea. The one with the rebel flag on the hood. So that's actually where these tires here, here originally came from and they've been moved around since then. So anyways, that's uh, pretty much it. So I'll talk to them later. Please keep it redneck like always and uh, please subscribe and comment.